Hey guys, welcome to my channel. I'm Kristen and today I'm sharing ways you can use the Dollar Tree fabric. So let's get into the video. First DIY, I'll be using this home for the holidays, a Christmas sign. I think I grabbed this from Dollar Tree two years ago. I've had it for a minute. I am just ripping that roof part off because I am going to put it back. It does come off pretty easy, although it does rip some of the paper, but that's not really a big deal for what I'm doing for this. Also took that wreath off with some of the glue. And then and now I'm going to be going in with my Waverly chalk paint in the color ink. You can use any color black, any color paint you'd like. I'm just deciding to paint the roof black. So I did do the edges in around because I knew what I was going to do next was not going to cover this. I'm actually going to be using some scrapbook paper. But first I wanted to make sure that the roof area was black. And then I also did go in with those pieces that I did pull off the house and painted them black as well. Scrapbook paper I'm going to use. It is such a cute little farmhouse, farmhouse scrapbook paper. Uh, and then I am just gonna be using some Elmer's glue stick to glue the scrapbook paper on. This scrapbook paper is from Echo Park and I purchased mine through Lismore from More Decal and Decor. So I will link that website for you guys if you want to pick up scrapbook paper or she also sells some amazing wood DIY kits. So once that was done, I'm going to be adding my roof pieces back together. And now you can see why I painted around some of the edges because I wasn't sure if they were going to show, but I obviously wanted it to look like it came like this. Uh, so once that was done, I used some hot glue. I love my Gorilla full-size glue gun. I love it. I've had it for months and I don't have any issues. Well, I'd say months, but it's maybe been closer to a year. It is by far my favorite glue gun. Uh, and then now for the fabric, I actually did these a while ago. I had these galvanized farm animals from Dollar Tree and I just used some of that fabric, Mod Podged it right on and I'll show you guys later on how I add fabric to everything. Actually, you just add Mod Podge. It's really, really simple and really easy. I'm using some of this wired twine from Dollar Tree and I just made a circle so I can just make a little wreath at the top of this house. And to finish the wreath off, I'm just ripping up pieces of this boxwood greenery that I grabbed from Walmart. DIY, I'll be using this sign from Dollar Tree. I'm pulling that flower off. We are not going to need that, but you can always keep them. They do come off pretty easily. And I'm just going to be pulling the inside off because we are going to be adding some scrap of paper. This scrap of paper also came from Echo Park. Uh, and I don't know if Liz actually has the exact same ones because I did pick these up last year, but you can pick up scrap of paper. They are double sided. So you really have to pick and choose which side that you want to use, but cut the scrap of paper down to size. Of course, my glue stick once again laid that scrapbook paper right on top. I think this turned out really cute. I really like the frame and the color that it is. I think it is so pretty, so I thought this would be perfect with this scrapbook paper. I love frames that seriously just go on like a normal frame. Flipped it over, and I'm going to be using another one of those farm animals. Like I said, I don't have the footage that I did with these, but like I said, you can see it on the back side exactly what I used. I don't think they carry these at Dollar Tree anymore. Maybe they do, maybe yours still has them. I know that I only found them at certain Dollar Trees. Use that same fabric, glue that to the center, and then I grabbed one of these felt flower kits from Dollar Tree as well. And I'm just gonna be using two of the leaves in one of those white roses. And I'm just using some hot glue to glue it in the corner of my frame. And that is it for this.
DIY, I will be using this Buffalo Check fabric. This is also 100% cotton, so if you guys have not seen this or you do want to pick some up, 100% cotton, use a foam wreath in that farmer's market sign. So I only actually used three of these fabric rolls. The other ones I did put aside and I did have a little bit left over. So right now I am just using my rotary blade and I am just cutting these in about two inch sections. And then once I finish with that, I will just be cutting the fabric right in half. So I don't have like a really long dangly wreath because nobody wants that. Uh, so yeah, so once I did, was finished, I just cut these right in half and they didn't have to be really perfect because once you tie them and move them around to how you want, you can't really tell if they are not the same size or not. This is what it looks like when it is halfway through and this is pretty time consuming. So put on a favorite movie of yours or a podcast or a YouTube video or something like that because I will be, I was watching like an entire Netflix episode. Uh, I'm watching Designated Survivor right now. I don't know if you guys have seen it, but it is so good. I'm so glad I'm watching it right now. So once it was completely done, I am just pushing all the pieces upwards because I didn't want any of my tied area or like my ends to be on the inside. So I'm just moving them around so you can see them on the outside. And then this took a second too. I did kind of keep going around and then I'd see the foam piece and then I'd move them around again and I'd untie them or add more. So do what you wish with your wreath, but this is so cute when it is finished. So it's definitely worth the time that you put into it. This sign was so pretty. I had to have this and I knew exactly what I was going to do with it. I thought this looked very pretty with the fabric that I chose for the wreath. And that is it. Use some hot glue for your sign in the center and that is it. DIY, I'm be using this sign. The first thing I did was take off these little clips. I did save these because I will be using these for a DIY. I think the next one that you will see. So I took those off. This is from Goodwill and it was only $1.49. I know it says $4.29 on the sticker, but I do pick items up from the Goodwill outlet and everything is marked down except certain colored stickers, which I definitely avoid those. So I just rolled this one out. This uh, fabric is also from Dollar Tree. And I thought this one was so pretty. I cut that down to size and just squeeze some Mod Podge on top of the sign. And then I am just going to be laying the fabric over the top. Later on, I do cut it down again. I don't show that because I do it with every single craft that I do. So every time I'm using Mod Podge laying these flat, I just cut them a little bit bigger. So... I know that I have enough fabric. There was a DIY that I did in this video. I didn't show it, but I cut the fabric too short and I wasn't able to use it for that project. But once I was done, I love layering the Mod Podge over the top of the fabric. It dries clear. You can't even tell, but it just, I feel like just makes it stick better. I could be completely wrong, but I also think it protects it just a little bit more too, because it does have that extra seal on the top. This hello sign is from Dollar Tree as well, and I am just painting it in the Waverly chalk paint in the color Moss. hello sign was dry. I'm using my good old hot glue gun to glue it to the sign that I added that fabric to. So you can actually add fabric to the hello sign if you chose to and did something different with the sign. I actually kept this one pretty simple just because I was going to add a wreath or I was going to add something to the top and I just, I really didn't know and I just really liked this sign. So I didn't want to add too much and regret it later down the road. Wood circles from Walmart. They are only a dollar and the fabric is also from, obviously it's from Dollar Tree. All of my fabric is from Dollar Tree. I don't think I need to say that again. I probably will, not sure. Mod Podge is also from Dollar Tree. I kind of like the little squirt bottles because I don't use a ton of Mod Podge. 
so it doesn't really go bad and although it's probably not the best deal if I'm not going to use a ton I think it is for me so smoothing that out with my paintbrush and then I'm just going to be flipping these over my camera did die so I did not show that but I flipped these over added the fabric to the top cut them down this is what they look like when they are dry I did also add that layer of Mod Podge to the top of these as well and then I'm using those clips from that last sign gluing them onto the centers of these and I made two of these I think these are so cool I think they are so pretty and then you can just add pictures or you can do notes or whatever you choose but I think these are really cute on the wall with pictures. I'm using these hexagon signs I would say or these shadow boxes and then some really cute farmhouse wood pieces they come in a three pack and of course my favorite fabric I think I've used this quite a few times or I will be using it quite a few times in this video so I cut these like I said just a little bit bigger than I'm supposed to this is kind of what my process looks like it's nothing crazy so I don't like to show absolutely everything I'm gonna cut it I'm going to Mod Podge. I'm going to put the fabric down. Then I'm going to put more Mod Podge over the top. I really just didn't want to bore you showing that every single step because you, I'm sure you get the picture by now. So once that is dry, I'm just using some hot glue to glue those frames right back on. I am adding one of those little trucks to the center of this this one says family and it does like I said it does come in a three pack so there's so many different things you could do with these I did add one to a wreath in a few videos back it's actually this one that says the farm fresh with the chicken the pig and the cow and I'm just gluing that one to the center but I think these are perfect with this fabric <music> I am using a hot plate or what is it called I want to I'm gonna call it a hot plate I'm pushing those little plastic beads or those plastic holders off of the bottom of this because we are gonna be adding the fabric to the bottom of this glass cutting board I think it is a cutting maybe it is a cutting board I would use it as a hot pad like to put my spoons and things on that is what I would use it for I would probably never cut anything on these I am going to be using this beautiful spring fabric with the blue, I was going to say purple, kind of looked purple to me for a second, the blue truck, I'm adding a ton of Mod Podge to the back side of this, so the fabric, the fabric, I cannot say fabric, I've said this so many times and messed it up so many times and we're just going to go with it, but I did put the fabric on the bottom of this, so you are able to actually still use this if you choose to, and then I would just clean off the top, um, it'll probably be more for decoration for me, but you could do as you wish with this. Uh, I think you could actually use it. And if you add a bunch of Mod Podge on the back side, it would work perfect. But I love this fabric. I've actually don't think I've ever used this one before. So I just put the whole thing down and then trimmed around it. And I think this kind of made things just a little bit easier. And then once it was completely dry, I actually was using a hair dryer for some of these to get the craft going a little bit faster. Sometimes I have a hard time going back to things that I start. So it's kind of easier if I can get everything done at once. And then I'm just adding a ton of Mod Podge to the back side. Cut the edges down or trim them down when it was dry. And you have a really cute piece here. But you guys, that is it for the video. I hope you enjoyed these fun fabric hacks. If you guys did like these, please make sure you give the video a thumbs up. And if you are new to my channel, I would love for you to consider sticking around and subscribing. And I will see you all in the next one. Bye.